Hi guys, Mike Gladwell here with Dentmate Invoicing and Estimating Software, and today we're going to write a retail hail estimate on a hail damage. Uh, if you haven't signed up with Dentmate yet, you need to go to dentmatepro.com and sign up for a 30-day free trial. Get all your information from the website and then go to your Android or iPhone store, download the app, put that information in there, and you are ready to go. It is so easy. Okay, I'm going to show you how to write a retail hail estimate today. Okay, guys, here we go. This is a retail estimate. All right. We're going to start at the top. What kind of vehicle it is. Vehicle check-in. Is it a Chevrolet? It's a Silverado Classic. So let's look that up. All right, and we'd already typed in the color black, but you can choose over in the choice box what color the vehicle is. And we also have an optional scanner up here that works great. You can scan the VIN, it'll put the information in for you. Next is customer info. We're going to go down to select contacts, contacts that we've already previously loaded. So we'll click that. Go up here, and this is for Joe Blow's Body Shop. So put that in. And you can put the phone number, the email, also the little green buttons on the side. If you hit the envelope there, we'll send it to them. And the phone, if you put a phone number in there, the green uh, telephone there, will also call them on your mobile device. So joeblow.com. Done there. Okay. Next up's the rates. We're going to go to the rates. Now, here's your hail matrix, because we are writing a hail estimate. We've got custom, dent mates. And some insurance company ones in there. The dent mate is the State Farm default. There's your discount rate for your customer. You can put that in as well. Apply discount to PDR or labor. You can cho choose those. Apply tax rates to labor. And we're going to change this. We're going to say it's $50 in this area that we're working for the labor rate of the body time. So then we're done with that. Notice there's little green check marks every time you go to something. So here we go. We're going to write the dent information. And this is a hail damage. So we're going to start with the top panels. Click the hood. First you want to hit the count select. You want to hit how many dents are on the vehicle. And we've already circled it. We know how the dent counts. So we're going to go with uh, 51 to 75. And then we're judging them as quarters. So now we're going to go through and get our oversized dents. And we have five, and we are set at $40 per oversized because this is, this is a State Farm estimate. So then you've got double oversized. You've got lots of different options here on body lines, panel edges, aluminum. We'll go ahead and click aluminum, and that's going to give us our 25% markup, and it will add it into the top for you. Okay, looks good. So we're done with that. Oh, also there's a price override, so you can click that if you want to do a different price or if you want to make it more or less, your choice. Now we're going to click the roof and do the same thing. We've got a dent count. It's 76 to 100, and we, we decided they were size of quarters. Again, this is our checklist. We go through. Large panel, because this is a truck, which gives us a 25% markup. And of course, it has some oversizes in it, so go with seven. Done. That gives us our price on our roof. Oh, we also got to go back to the hood. We off we got to do our R and I. So we're going to take the hood off the vehicle. And it, the default is set at 0 0.7. If it's something different, you can, you're welcome to change it. Washer nozzles, insulator, and this will give us our R and I times. And also, we're going back to our roof. We're going to click R&I. And, and we know the headliner is going to come down. And it has an antenna in the front. Oh, and you can also change the headliner to whatever it is. If the insurance company has something different, you can change it to that. We're going to do the antenna, the sunroof. We're going to leave it at the default times and the brake lights. And also, you can do replacement parts as well. Then we'll click Done. Now we're going to go to the rails. Same thing, dent count, we'll click it, 6 to 15 quarters, 
And then as we know on rails, we'll get the glue pull for the 25% for the double panel. So we're going to go up. No oversize. You can also do a price override if it's something different or you want more money for it. It's entirely up to you. So we're going to click the right rail. 6 to 15. We're going to judge them as quarters. Glue pull. We want our 25% markup for it being a rail. And then we're going to have some oversizes on this one. So let's say we got two. So we'll add that in. It adds it all up to the top. Gives you a price on the rail. We'll do one more panel here just to give you an idea of how we write a hail estimate. We'll click the left front fender. You can also do large dents too as well on your estimate separate from your hail. So you can go down to the large dent. You can also do as an option. And then we're going to go one to five nickel size on the fender. And down to our R and I, we're going to take the headlight out and the fender liner, and we're just going to use the default times. Click done. Now let's say our estimate's finished, so we're going to click done. You can go to photos. You can take the photos. You click that. And take your picture with your mobile device. So we'll say we got all our photos done, and then we're going to go to insurance information. This is a State Farm. You can go through and click their State Farm. Click that and you can put the claim number. We'll just make up a claim number. Then the deductible, the adjuster's name, number, you can have all the information. Now the ROPO, we're going to go to that, and that's an option if you're at a dealership. You know, they use those or body shops that are connected to dealers use ROPO. So that's an option. We also have notes, and we're going to leave a note on this vehicle to let the customer in the insurance know that it had prior damage so has prior damage on the door not related to hail just a little note so let them know the door dings we're not going to fix those and the assigned tech mm -hmm. Brad Anderson we're gonna go through your checklist to make sure everything's right there's a print Next to that is the preview button. Now the preview, you can click that and it'll show you what you're gonna, the email that you're gonna send the customer or insurance company. And then here's the send button, and we'll click that. And then it's Joe Blow at Yahoo.com is already preloaded from our contacts. So if we want to add an email, we can also send it to whoever you want, the insurance company or maybe the customer, two different customers. So we'll say Juliet State Farm. Dot com. Okay, and there's a button to send the photo separately if you'd like. And then here, we're, now it's a send now. We'll send the email to both customers. Click done. And now this is our checklist. We can go over and review it, make sure everything we got. And then up here we'll do the status of this estimate. We can change it from an estimate to an invoice build, invoice paid, or a supplement. So we'll click invoice build. And we got the work finished. And now we'll send it as paid because we got our check. So invoice paid. And then if you need to send it to the insurance company for a supplement, edit as a supplement, you can do that as well. Now click the home button and this estimate will be saved. And there you go.